What's up, my awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys. And today's video is the final part to my Blu ray slash 4K collection overview. We're going to do the M's all the way down to the very end. So I first want to thank you all for watching these videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And once again, to my old subscribers, thank you guys for watching my watching my videos for as long as you have. I really appreciate it. And to my new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the videos. But to my new subscribers, I hope you enjoy the videos on the channel, um, future videos to come, and then uh, videos that I've done in the past. So definitely go and check those out. And if you guys haven't seen part one or part two to my Blu-ray slash 4K collection overview, I'm going to leave all that down in the link for you. So definitely go watch those and then come back to this one. So let's get started, guys. And once again, I hope you enjoy this video. All right, guys. So starting with the M's, I actually had to pull this movie off the other shelf. Made it a lot easier. Um, we got Ma with Octavia Spencer. I actually really enjoy that thriller. That's a good one. Now we're going through the next shelf. Um, we got Mad Max, the original on 4K. The original Mad Max uh, trilogy. Then we got Mad Max Fury Road on 4K. I just, I just picked these up on 4K. Really excited to um, watch the um, 4K transfers of those. Then we got the Mad Max Fury Road, the colored version, and also the black and white version. If you guys haven't seen the black and white version, that is a great version to watch. Uh, really happy with that. Uh, we got Mad Monster Party, Magic Mike, Magic Mike XXL, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia Here We Go Again, uh, Man of Steel, Man From U.N.C.L.E., uh, the, uh, the, not the, Maniac Cop, Maniac Cop 2, and Maniac Cop 3. Uh, we got the remake of Maniac, Mannequin, Mannequin 2 on the move, The Martian, uh, Machete, Machete Kills, the Maze Runner Trilogy. Uh, the camera, of course, is going to be a little shaky, so I apologize about that, guys. Um, Me Before You, Mean Girls, The Meg, Memento, the Men in Black Trilogy, and then the Men, Men in Black International, Midsommar, Midway, Milk. Uh, then I put the uh, Times of Harvey Milk with Milk. Uh, that's a great documentary. If you haven't picked it up from Criterion yet, definitely do so um, either now or when the uh, next Criterion sale um, happens. The Mimic Trilogy, that's something I just picked up. I'm looking forward to watching those. Um, Mirror Mirror, uh, Miss Congeniality 1 and 2, uh, Miss, Peregrine, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar, Chil Peculiar Children, hopefully I said that right, uh, The Mist, Model Behavior, Monster Squad, Moonlight, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, I cannot wait for the next Mortal Kombat movie, uh, Mother, Mother's Day, the Mother's Day remake, uh, Moulin Rouge, Mrs. And Mr. And Mrs. D Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I almost said Doubtfire. Mr. Mi Mrs. Doubtfire. Wow. Uh, the Mummy. Uh, this is the Hammer film. Then we got the uh, Mummy Returns and the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Empire. Is that right? Yeah. Hopefully that's right. Um, I actually have the first one up top in Steelbook form, so that's why it's not here. Uh, then we got Murder on Murder on the Oriental Express, Music and Lyrics, My Best Friend's Wedding, My Boyfriend's Back, My Soul to Take, My Week with Marilyn, Mystic Pizza, The Natural Born Killers, Near Dark, Neon Demon, Nerve, Never Been Kissed, Never Say Never Again, The Never Ending Story. Uh, then we got The Never Ending Story 2, The New Kids, New Year's Eve. Uh, Never Hike Alone, that is the fan-made um, Friday 13th film. Really good, by the way. So if you haven't picked it up, definitely go on their website. I'll try to leave that down below as well. Um, I think it's still available. It might be. If not, you know, I won't put it down there. But uh, yeah, that's a really good uh, fan-made film, and I know they're doing a second one. Um, I think you can actually watch them both on YouTube, do YouTube as well. Um, I could be wrong, but I think they're on YouTube. 
Uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Uh, Night of the Demons, the original. I got this steelbook down here. Uh, most of my steelbooks are up, up above um, with the other steelbooks, but I wanted to keep this series together. So, got Night of the Demons, Night of the Demons 2, Night of the Demons 3, which this is a media on demand, and the Night of the Demons remake, Night of the Living Dead, uh, the George A. Romero one, and then the Tom Savini one, Night School, Nightmare Beach, um, The Nightmare on Elm Street, the first seven movies. Then we got the remake, Nonstop, The Normal Heart, The Notebook, um, Now You See Me, Now You See Me 2, Number 23, The Nun, Oculus, Old Guard, again, another media on demand edition. Um, Olympus Has Fallen, and this is a uh, series, so I'm going to keep them all together. But Olympus Has Fallen, London Has Fallen, Angel Has Fallen. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, One Dark Night, um, Dario Argento's Opera, or just Opera, The Other Woman, Others, Ouija, Ouija, Origin, Origin of Evil. Uh, then we got Overboard, the Overboard remake, Overlord, which that's very underrated. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Pacific Heights, Paranorman, the um, Paranormal Activity Collection. I actually just got that recently. I kind of... Even the bad ones, I want to go back and watch them. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen that franchise. Uh, Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim Uprising, uh, Passengers, very underrated movie. I, I love that. Uh, the Peanut Butter Falcon, Pearl Harbor, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, A Perfect Getaway, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and then I have my Pet Cemetery franchise together. So most of my Scream Factories, I have over in the horror movie boutique stuff but some i do have over here with you know other franchises so we got pet cemetery the original then we got its documentary the unearthed and untold story of pet cemetery very good documentary i recommend checking that out uh then we got pet cemetery 2 which i really enjoy that love actually love the movie and then one I actually really enjoy was the remake of Pet Cemetery. Um, it had its flaws. Um, it wasn't perfect, but um, I definitely really enjoyed it. The Phantom of the Opera. This is the 2004 movie. Phenomena. Philadelphia. Phone Booth. Uh, Pieces. The Grindhouse edition. Really good edition of that movie. The Pitch Perfect trilogy. Um, I think they're supposed to be doing a fourth movie. But um, yeah, just the trilogy right now. Uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Thanksgiving Classic, The Polar Express, Pompeii, we got Porky's, uh, again, I'm going to have to have a little bit of a shaky cam here, guys, I'm actually on the floor right now, so it's going to be a little bit shaky, uh, Porky's, The Poseidon Adventure, then we got the remake Poseidon, uh, Possession, The Power Rangers, the live action movie, the live action movie that came out in, I believe, 2016, The Prestige, Pretty in Pink, Pretty Woman, The Princess Bride, The Post, Prisoners, The Prodigy, really good horror movie, The Proposal, Prom, again, another media on demand edition. Oh, this camera is so shaky. I apologize, guys. Um, the Prowler, Prom Night, The Prom Night Remake, uh, P.S. I Love You. I almost said pieces. P.S. I Love You. Um, Pulp Fiction. The 2004 Punisher movie. Then we got some Puppet Master movies. Uh, we got the original Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, Puppet Master 4, 5, and Axes of Evil. The only ones I really enjoy um, in that franchise. Then we got the Purge franchise. So we got the Purge, Purge Anarchy, which is my favorite. Election Year and the first pur Purge. Uh, we got Quarantine, A Quiet Place. Uh, we got the, this is a Queens of Scream pack with, I believe, um, I know what you did last summer, Vacancy and the When a Stranger Calls remake. I honestly got it because I did not have Vacancy and I did not have the When a Stranger Calls remake on Blu-ray. And I believe this is one of the only ways to get the remake of When a Stranger Calls. I could be wrong. I think there's a double feature pack from Mill Creek as well. But they don't have a, a standalone release of that. Queen of the Damned. Uh, then we got the Rambo franchise. So we got First Blood, uh, Rambo, First Blood Part 2, Rambo 3, 
Rambo and Rambo Last Blood, Rampage, Ready or Not, Red Riding Hood, Ready Player One, uh, Relic, Rent, Repo the Genetic Opera, um, we got Resident Evil, Retribution, and Final Chapter. Um, I have the others on Steelbook, and they're up at the top. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, The Ring, Rings, Risky Business, and um, I do have the second one. Again, it's Steelbook form. It's actually up at the top. Um, but I do have Rise of the Planet of the Apes and War of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, then we got the Robocop Trilogy, the Rocky Collection. Then we got Creed, Creed Two. Rock of Ages, The Roommate, Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, Rosemary's Baby, Rough Night, and The Ruins. Alright guys, continuing on with the next shelf, we got Run All Night, uh, Runaway with Tom Selleck, very underrated film, uh, Runaways, The Rush Hour Trilogy, Safe Haven, San Andreas, the Sandlot, the 20, 20th Anniversary Edition, which I really love this. This came out a long time ago, but it has that slipcover with the um, baseball shape to it, um, or the baseball look. really like that. Uh, Savage Streets. We got the Saw franchise, so we got the first seven movies, and Jigsaw, Say Anything, the Scooby-Doo live-action movies, so the first one and the second one. Then we got the new one, Scoob, which I still have to watch. I got that on Black Friday, so I have to watch that one. We got Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, Scare, pa Scare Package, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Scream, Scream 4, Scrooged. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going out. Uh, second Act, See No Evil, uh, Sex in the City, the movie, and the second movie. She's Out of My League, The Shallows, The Shape of Water. Which, that is unopened, but I have seen it. Great movie. Still gotta rewatch it. Um, Shazam, Shelter, uh, Sherlock Holmes, and Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. Again, a little bit of shakiness, guys. I apologize. Um, we got Shockwaves, Showgirls, uh, Shutter Island, the Shrek 4 film collection, Shudder, Silence of the Lambs, the Criterion Edition, Silent Hill, Silent Rage, uh, Chuck Norris mixed with a slasher movie action film. A lot of fun, guys. I recommend that. Um, if you want to see Chuck Norris in a slasher movie, it's pretty cool. Or more thriller, but there's definitely some slashing elements. Speaking of a thriller slasher, we got Silent Scream, Silver Linings Playbook, uh, Simple Favor, Sin City, Sin, Cid Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. Is that correct? A Dame to Kill For. Yes, it is. Um, Sinister, 16 Candles, The Sixth Sense, uh, we got some James Bond movies, I just put these two together, Skyfall and Spectre, uh, Skyline, Skyscraper, The Sleeper, very, uh, a great, um, 2012 slasher movie, Sleeping with the Enemy, Sleepless in Seattle, Small Soldiers, Small Soldiers, uh, got that one recently, Snatched, So I Married an Axe Murderer, Solar Babies, Some Like It Hot, Something Borrowed, Son-in-Law, again, another Media on Demand edition, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, South Paul, and Sorority Babes, and the Slime Ballerama, and hopefully I said that long title correct. Really fun 80s um, cheese, cheesy movie with Linnea Quigley. Um, Sorority Row, The Sound of Music, um, Rest in Peace, Christopher Plummer, uh, great movie. Species, the Speed 2 film collection, which has Speed and Speed 2. Um, Sphere, Spice World, which is another media on demand edition. Then we got the first three Sam Raimi um, Spider Man movies, or the Sam, Ra Sam Raimi trilogy. We got Amazing Spider Man and Amazing Spider Man 2. Um, Spider Man Homecoming, Spider Man Far From Home. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I keep all my Spider-Man films together. Then we got Spiral, the um, Shudder thriller film, or the one that premiered on Shudder. Really good one, guys. Check that out. We got Split, Spy, Stage Fright. Um, not a remake, but we do have another thriller called Stage Fright or another slasher movie. The original uh, Stephen King's The Stand, which I did watch the new one. Uh, it was 
pretty good overall. More disappointing, but um, I do love the original miniseries. Uh, Stand By Me. We got uh, the encore edition of A Star Is Born, which I still need to watch that version of it. Um, going over here, guys, uh, we have the uh, Star Trek trilogy, the newest movies. So pick that one up around Black Friday. Really cool. Then I upgraded all my Star Wars movies on 4K. Actually got a really good deal online on eBay. Um, so we got the, and I'll just just name them off. We got The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Then we got some of the kind of intertwined films. We got Solo, a Star Wars Story, um, Rogue One, a Star Wars Story. Then we got New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, which, unpopular opinion, but I absolutely love that. That's one of my favorites. And Rise of a Skywalker. Um, overall, love them. I, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, then we got this interesting thing there. This interesting set here. I actually got this on eBay. It's a media on demand edition again, guys. But it is the despecialized um, original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, I pop these in and they look and sound great. Uh, this is pretty much um, before George Lucas started adding things to the movie. So this is the original theatrical versions. Uh, very cool, guys. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, I'll show it in the future. But again, I found this on eBay. Um, there's some sellers selling it. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, definitely go on eBay. Um, look, They all look great, by the way. They do. Um, we got Straw Dogs, Staying Alive. Again, another Media On Demand edition. The Stepfather remake. Um, we have a double feature of The Stepmom and The Deep End of the Ocean. Um, I remember Stepmom more, uh, so I have it in the S's, and I got it for that reason. But I do remember really enjoying the deep, deep end of the ocean. I'll have to rewatch that at some point. Uh, we have Step Up, Stir of Echoes, Sucker Punch, The Suicide Squad. Again, sorry for that shakiness, guys. Uh, Summer School, which again is a media on demand edition. Supergirl, the original movie. Superman, the movie. Uh, great 4K. Another great 4K. Uh, Suspiria. Then we got the remake of Suspiria. Super Bad, Sweeney Todd, Take Me Home Tonight, The Taken Trilogy, Taking of Deborah Logan, love that, Teen Witch, then we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy, so the original films, and then we got the reboot and its sequel. Uh, right here we have, um, I say we have, <laughs> I can't apologize for that, I don't know why I keep saying that, but we got Tenant, um, the... Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles TV show. Really good TV show. Um, the Terminator, The Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis, and Terminator Dark Fate. Again, might sort of an unpopular opinion, but I actually either enjoy or love all those. Um, there's not one I hate. I, I love that franchise as a whole. Uh, Terror Train... Then we got some Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. I have the originals up at up at the top um, on Steelbook and like a different edition with my box sets. But we got Texas Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, uh, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. And again, some of my screen factories are together within just like this collection. Um, but we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. We got the remake, which that's one of my favorites. I love it. And we got two different versions of Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning. And if you guys don't know this, um, here is the theatrical version that came out here in the U.S. And this is actually the unrated remake. Um, and I had to look this up a little bit because sometimes, and this is from Canada, but sometimes, uh, I can't remember what movie it was, um, they said it was unrated and it wound up being the theatrical version. But this is actually the unrated version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, Next Generation. Not Next Generation. The Beginning. There we go. So if you guys are looking for the unrated um, Tex the unrated version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning, this is the best way to get it. Um, and, you know, got it off of Amazon US, but it's a Canadian edition. 
really good uh, picture quality, and that's the best version of the two, so definitely pick that one up. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, 3D, drew a blank there. Uh, Leatherface, and then we got, uh, what is this one called? I just got this one. Uh, that thing you do. I drew a blank there, I apologize. Uh, this means war, Thor, Thor the Dark World, and again I have the, um, um, the third movie. Again, drawing a blank, Rag Ragnarok, uh, up with the, uh, steelbooks. Uh, we got Ticks, we got Titanic, um, To Hell and Back, the Kane Hodder story, really good documentary. Um, to All a Good Night, uh, To Wong Fu, Hello Julie Newmar. Uh, Tom at the Farm, the Laura Croft film, so we got the Angelina Jolie movies, the Tomb Raider movies, and then we got the reboot, which, surprisingly enough, I really enjoyed that. Um, Top Gun, Touch of Evil, Tower Heist, Tower Inferno, Trainwreck. We have the Transformers franchise and universe, so we got the first movie, um, Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, Age of Extinction, uh, the Last Night and Bumblebee, the only one I don't like out of the bunch is The Last Night, but as a completist, I have them all. Uh, then we got uh, my buddy Brian Doran and my buddy Doug's films, um, Douglas Connor, or Doug Connor, uh, Trashology and its sequel, Pre-Existing Conditions. Uh, great movies, guys. If you love John Waters, um, Brian and Doug did a fantastic job paying tribute to John Waters with those movies. So definitely check those out. They're from Olive Films. I highly recommend them. Um, congrats, Brian and Doug, on those. And the many other work that they do. They're fantastic. Fantastic people, friends, and filmmakers. Uh, Chick or Treat. This is the 80s film. This is, again, another media on demand edition. Uh, Trilogy of Terror. Uh, Trilogy of Terror tr 2. Uh, True Lies. Madonna's Truth or Dare. Uh, Truth or Dare. Then, of course, yes, uh, you can call these guilty pleasures if you want, but for me, I have a great time with them. The Twilight Saga. Uh, then we got the Twilight Zone, Twilight Zone the movie. Uh, Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. The Ugly Truth. Unbreakable. Underwater. Check that out if you've never seen it. Great movie from last year. Unforgettable. Another great movie from last year. Unhinged. Awesome. Us. Unknown. Unstoppable. Upgrade, Vacation, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, Vegas Vacation, and The Reboot, which I actually really loved that movie. Alright guys, we're at the final shelf, so just a little bit here. We got Valentine's Day, Valerian, uh, this, and The City of Lost Planets. Hopefully I said that whole title. The City of a Thousand Planets. Valley Girl, the Valley Girl remake. Van Helsing. Venom, the 2005 slasher movie, or 2006. The um, Marvel's Venom, which I cannot wait for. Vo I cannot wait for Venom 2. I really love that first movie. VFW, The Vow, Videodrome, VHS, Vibes with Sidney Lauper. I had to do my accent. Um, yeah, Vibes was a hoot. I mean, it's so bad it's good, but it's a hoot. Uh, Waiting, The Ward, Warm Bodies. Warrior, uh, Waterworld, Watchmen, uh, this is the ultimate cut, I believe, but it also comes with the director's cut, uh, We or W.E. Madonna's film, which I finally gave this a watch this past, la or last summer, and, um, really enjoyed that movie, I know it kind of got mixed reviews, um, We Are Still Here, Wedding Crashers, Weekend, Weird Science, Whiplash, White House Down, Winchester, Widows, Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street, The Wolfman, the remake, Woman in Black, Woman in Black 2, which I have seen, I just haven't opened this yet, Wonder, another one I have seen, I just haven't opened yet, Wonder Woman, the um, 2017 movie, the first five wrong turn movies, six I don't even bother with, I don't even care for some of these in the collection, but um, it was cheaper to get this than just getting the first movie. And I do like some of those sequels. But um, I'm looking forward to the reboot. Hopefully it's good. Uh, you're next. You've got mail. You again. Uh, Xanadu. And then we have um, the X-Men universe. So some of these movies are already at the top, 
but the rest are here. So we got X-Men um, Origins or Wolverine X-Men Origins, The Wolverine, X-Men Days of Future Past. We got Logan, uh, The Dark Phoenix, which I really love that movie. I know not a lot of people like that one, but I did. And same thing with The New Mutants. I loved it. Uh, sorry for the blurriness, guys. We got Zombie, and then the last two, Zombieland and Zombieland Double Tap. So guys, that is the end of my 4K slash Blu-ray collection overview. Um, I know I didn't go into a lot of detail, so if you guys have questions down below, um, put them in the comments and I'll be happy to reply and um, answer any questions for you guys or answer or reply to any comments. Um, that's what I meant to say. But uh, thank you guys once again for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, this is my Blu-ray slash 4K collection overview for 2021. I really appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned um, for more videos to come in the future, guys. I love you guys so much. Um, so as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock in with a positive, out with a negative, go eat some Skittles and so much love to you all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.